Well, I'm curious about the the, the, the Denver debates and uh, why that decision to go big and have that lofty conversation with America failed. I mean, on paper, it seems like a good idea. Uh, why do you think it fell so flat? Well, I, I think there's a, the, the book opens in, in Las Vegas. Uh, three days before the Denver debate. And it was a whole very weird setting, right? It's, it's this different climate than Denver, different altitude. It's, it's takes, it's at this, this hotel where Obama's staying is this bankrupt Middle Eastern themed Weston. They interrupt an actual wedding that's going on. Like there's a wedding at this, uh, this, this Weston hotel that weekend and and the bride has to get, you know, secret service x-rayed. Um, you have Obama, and as 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 a lot of the the things we heard at the time were also were also accurate, right? You know, Obama is the commander in chief. Historically, they had done studies, the debate prep team that said uh, um, the the the, the uh, you know commander in, in chief almost always loses that that first debate. Um, so there was an overconfidence there, and I think when when you when you've grown accustomed to, to the pressure that the office of the presidency has. Uh, you know, going on stage to have an argument with Mitt Romney doesn't seem like that big of a deal. Uh, so I think you had you had all those factors. Plus, after the forty-seven percent video, and this was said to me again and again, they thought they they thought they won. So so long and short of it, they thought they had the whole thing wrapped up, um, and 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 didn't take it. Uh, and the president himself didn't take it as seriously as I, I mean, I, this has never been reported before, uh, but it's in the book. Uh, you know. One of the president's debate prep sessions, when he was supposed to be preparing for this, was the day that the bodies of the four victims in Benghazi came back to Andrews Air Force Base. So he literally gave a speech about uh, Benghazi, met the families of these victims from like 1 to 4 p.m., and then goes and tries to focus on getting ready to argue with Mitt Romney over tax policy.